Welcome in everybody. I hope you guys have been doing well. Today we're checking out a very cool PvE server. This is the Zombieland Terminus server. I just played Zombieland Outbreak and I wanted to give another one a shot. They have four different servers, but this one is very unique. There is no crafting. There's no farming. Everything is from crates and uh, all custom loot tables. So I'm excited to give it a shot. See if we can put a wipe together. And it's also got a really cool map right now. So as you can see, it's got a pretty interesting map, uh, but there's a lot of crates and different areas that we can get loot. So right now we're on this island here. Let's go check out the area we can around and see if we can get over to train yard or to some mainland. We do still have to worry about zombies though, so without weapons, it's going to be a lot harder. Let's go over to Ralph's place. At least there's a lot of these nodes around here. I need to get a sleeping bag. That's the hard part. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, shit. A lot of NPCs here is what we got here. Since this was one of our first NPC locations, we discovered there was some good loot here, but we had no weapons, so I decided to cut our loss and leave when I found a present on the road. Oh, there's a scientist there. Can we get this present? Oh shit, it's a supply drop. Okay, let's see if we can get this pistol. Kill the scientist wherever he's at. It's over there. Well, fuck me. It was in burst mode. Okay. Well, don't have any ammo for that. We do have 600... See, it gave us 692 arrows and 418 nails. So we just need to get a nail gun or a bow now. And we'll be doing okay. Let me grab some mushrooms and all of these resources around here. Do we have a hammer? No, that was on our other body, wasn't it? Hmm, okay. So we did lose our building hammer. The other thing we don't have is doors, so we're going to have to find doors before we can build a base. We still needed a lot of resources, so I went over to Sewerage Branch where we found a lot of boxes, killed the zombie, and was able to recycle most of the things to get a lot of resources we needed to build our base. Alright, I think we have a decent amount of loot for right now. Let's uh, run this road, get whatever scrap and different things that we can, and then I might teleport to town and try and just buy a hammer and a blueprint. Uh, well, there's the hammer at least. Ooh, that's a really good crate. That gave us a lot of stuff that we can recycle. You do get a lot of loot from the barrels and stuff. Like, look at my inventory. I just filled my inventory up. So, that's a good news. Because, uh, we can recycle to get a lot more material. We got a wood door at least. So, we could put a base down. We're getting close to everything that we need. Oh no! Rest in peace. It was nice while it lasted. Oh well, I'll accept it. <laughs> uh, now we gotta get a spawn back there. Thankfully, Heli Tower is a warp location, so I was able to warp to Heli Tower when I got a little bit of a surprise. Ouch. Oh, you, I thought you were a zombie. <laughs> You scared me. It's okay. Part of our part of our staff training to every new staff member is when you come out of vanish, somebody's gonna shoot you. <laughs> yeah, you came out of nowhere. You my you you my uh you my YouTube friend. I am. 
I had a great interaction with T-Bird. He's one of the admins on the server and is just kind of thanking me for my last video that I made. Most of these videos I make are not paid or sponsored by the server. I just like to highlight everything that I can and I've had a great time on this server. So I decided that playing Terminus would be another awesome video and uh, I'm thankful for everybody in this community and staff. So thank you that have joined my Discord and those that have subscribed to my channel so far. Uh, now that it's starting to become daytime, I started to make a base on the shoreline, just pretty close to Sewer Branch. I was trying to make some weird design I saw the other day. It it wasn't really worth it. I was trying to see if I could make a 2 by one design that I could fit a oil refinery in as well and have like a drop down for my furnaces, but it, it did the job for now. We were able to get a base put down and I got a TC from town, so we were all good to get going. All right, I think we're ready to go try to find a little bit better loot. Got this SAR from town. We were able to get pistol ammo earlier. Um, so we don't really have anything for healing. We can take our med kit. We have one med kit. But other than that, just a couple of pumpkins. And uh, I think we're good to head out. We'll do some base expansion as we get more resources. Uh, and hopefully I can get a lock soon. I don't think you can loot on here anyways. Uh, but it might have to be locked. I'm not sure. So I want to go up to the road to the left, and I want to run it through here, kill the NPCs here, see what kind of loot we can get, come back down, run it past Heli, see if there's anything in Heli Tower. I don't know if Heli Tower is a, like just for taking Heli, or if there happens to be any loot there or not. And then we'll come back through Sewer Branch. I don't have any explosives to take this NPC raid base at the moment, but... Hopefully we can find a little bit more soon. I need to get a furnace really bad. If we can get a furnace, we'll be doing pretty well because we have a lot of metal ore and we have a decent amount of wood even. I've been enjoying this a lot though. If you're looking for a new server to play, I would highly recommend this one, especially if you're into PVE servers. So let's see if we can sneak our way in here. Oh, there's a recycler here. Where'd he go? One more in here, maybe? What did they drop? Eh. Not very good loot. Where's Ralphie? Oh, there's a bag here. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Let's recycle, I guess. And then we'll loot the rest of the things here. There doesn't appear to be very much loot here unless you have cards. Oh. Somebody recycled. Which I don't have cards. Ooh, meds though. Lots of good meds there. Oh, nice. Our first mill crate. That's huge. Um, I'll take the rug. It's kind of a cool rug. Oh my god. Bro just respawned on me. That scared the shit out of me, man. Come on, baby. We need a lock. Give me a lock. Yeah, let's go. That was the perfect timing. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I don't have any more room for shit. What can I recycle that I don't need anything? Oh, I guess I have a tiny bit of room. Oops. I need to make a, a macro key to open the backpack. 
take those. Stone fireplace. Crap. Yeah, we don't have any space. Um, let's, uh, let's go back home. Let's depot what we don't need. I'm going to put another stocking up as well. Can we put it on that side? Yeah, we can. Let's depot what we want to actually keep. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have another crate, I just realized. Um, that's tough. Okay. Anything that will go in here, we'll put in there. Let's put the lock down onto the wood door for now. And then let me grab any weapons out of here. And let me get organized here and then we'll be right back and we'll head and try to recycle a few things. After a little bit of organization, I was able to move everything into our inventory that we wanted to recycle. This is where we get most of our resources to upgrade our base, and we still had a lot of upgrading to do. I then found some mill crates up on top of the sewer branch area, and we got an M39, which is going to help us in the long run. I recycled the last bit of loot that we got and then called it a day. It was a good first day on the server. Good morning. It's another beautiful day on Rust, and by good morning, I mean I woke up at 10 o'clock, but that's it's okay. That's a bad day for me. I usually wake up on time. Last night, I got on the server uh, and started doing some random base upgrades. Don't ask me why. I I just went on a tangent. So we got some things to upgrade. I don't want to use all of our materials. We have 62 hours of upkeep. I kind of want to keep it around there the whole time. So let's go out on a roam. I did lose our stockings. Our stockings were giving us stone and stuff, which was actually super nice. Is there only one present here? Or was there two? Um, but we lost them because I demolished the wall. And when I did that, I didn't realize they were on it. So it did not give me the stockings back, sadly. Yeah, it was kind of a bad idea in, in general, I'm not going to lie. Dude, that'd be a sick base. Imagine this, like, cove here. You could build such a cool base right here. All right, let's see what we can get into today. There's actually a lot of easy raid bases around. So I'm thinking maybe we try to do one of those later. I'm not sure how, how long I'm going to play today. Got a lot of things to get done this morning. Um, but eventually I will have some more time. I got two zombies here. Oh, is this the named zombie? Oh yeah, Pizza Man Chappie. <laughs> I heard you can name zombies on this server if you buy it for like $5 or something. That's actually pretty cool. A little bit more tea and meds. Ooh, a python. That's not bad. Ooh, and another metal door. That's actually really important there. Um, I'm not going to keep those. And I don't need that. I do need to keybind my backpack, and I should once we get to the top here, I might do that. Somebody in the comments said I had a backpack. I am I have been using my backpack. I just haven't been keybinding it, so that's why I never show myself using it because I have to type in slash backpack every single time. But uh, so like I've been like literally doing that every time. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Ooh, that'll get us some more wood. Oh, another sleeping bag. That's great. More ammo as well. Oh, okay. We got the good crates today. What do we got in this? We really need like a Tommy or something. Oh, MP5 and satchel. See, now we can actually do a medium raid base. That should give us what we need. Sick. We still need to get a green card. There's probably a lot more loot inside if we had a green card. Especially since we're living so close. So... That might be something we need to try to get done today as well. But we do have enough to do an easy raid base, I bet. So I think we may, might have to go for it. Let me recycle this stuff. We'll run the road. 
like one one good run on the road and then maybe we go for the easy raid base as you can probably assume i ran the road a lot uh I, that's a common occurrence on this server is to get loot off the road so after running the road recycling we ended up having enough to go on this easy raid base that spawned near my house Okay. First NPC is dead. Big loot, big loot. Oh. I forgot. How much does one satchel do to a wood door? Oh yeah, we can expo that. Maybe a shotgun trap or two in here. Ah! Shit, that scared me. Yeah, it's right there at the corner. Maybe a little bit of expo to help me along. There we go. Is there another one? Nope. No, oh, okay. Ooh, but we can recycle those. Okay, one more satchel. Expecting there to be another shotgun trap. Wait, was there two doors? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I got, got scared for a minute. Ah, there it is. There it is. Let's see if that'll help us. Okay. What do we got for loot here? Oh, 58 bandages. That's not a bad start. Oh, green card. Hell yes. Now we can run sewer branch. We got more handmaids. Vending machine. I, that might be useful. Bean cans. Oh, and seven more satchels. Okay. Yeah, these easy raid bases are worth it. If they do it correctly. TC? Is there more loot in here? Okay. Let's see, is there any loot in the TC? Ooh, a little bit of stone. Okay. Hell yeah. Um, I don't have a hammer. But I wonder if uh, it's like I could probably pick these up. I'm not sure though. Cool. Well, um, let's just keep it going. That was not a bad raid. Let's go take this easy raid base. I would say the loot's still pretty worth it. I'm not sure if it's gonna stop me from starting a new one right away. But we did complete it, so let's go check out this one. See if it's any different. I ended up having to wait 10 minutes before we could start that next raid. I was moving things into the base when I heard a horde of gingerbread men running outside. So I posted up on one of the zip lines and was able to pick them off from okay, a distance. They did end up running over to me and uh, it still wasn't too bad of a fight. They they could throw nades pretty high, but uh, this was definitely the way to fight the horde rather than being in my base and having them destroy it or getting caught out in the open. Let's hit up raid base number two. At least this one's made of stone. Yeah, okay. This might have some better loot. That was the wrong button. Okay. 
Okay. There's got to be a shotgun trap or something, right? Can I just jump in here? What the heck? <laughs> Such a random base. Well, that's a bad sign. Yeah, I thought the loot was going to be better. I don't don't quite know about that. Wow, that was a fast one. Ah. Okay, can I sneak past this? Yes, I can. Is there another one up here? Yes, there is. Okay, more storage. We'll take it. Um, I'm gonna keep those and plant them, honestly. What did we forget? Okay. Oh, we just got another TC and a lot of arrows. That's great. Was there not a TC? Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. This fucking there we go. Ah, forgot about that one. We got a decent amount of loot from that. We also got an extra small box, and I think I even grabbed an extra large box. Um, so I'm gonna work on reorganizing our base while it's nighttime and uh, try to get this a little bit better organized. After that, we will probably go check out a monument. There are like custom monuments like uh, snow globe, satellite dish. There is a medium raid base too, but I don't have a launcher yet. So I'm gonna sell a few things, recycle a few things and see where we come out. And once I get that done, we'll continue our adventure and try to get some better loot. about an hour to do i ended up upgrading the rest of the base i got this i didn't realize that this was the skin on one of the double doors we have really cool i really enjoyed that we had an extra storefront so i put that here upgraded the majority of the sheet metal i'm gonna make this a storage room plus we have this here we did all of our random things that we have um so there's definitely some things that we could sell or recycle in here but we do have enough stuff to do power if we want um and then I put this in a little while ago because we will make a second floor eventually. Um, upgraded everything on the ceiling pretty much to uh, sheet metal. And then if we come back down here, we close this up. We got, I don't know why, but we have a level one workbench here. Uh, we got all of our furnaces, a locker with kind of our random clothing. Um, I got a garage door from my uh, daily kit. And then we made this our food and health box. We have a couple decent armor kits, random clothing. Our gun box is looking very healthy right now. Uh, and then I got two coffins for some extra storage, plus everything else that we got here. So our upkeep is four days at the moment. I'm very happy with how this turned out.
I have to get off for right now though. So once I get back on, I'm actually gonna, real quick, I will take, I have to recycle all this stuff. And this should give us even more resources. Before you say, just hold H. I know, I know. I just like to click it, okay? So let's go recycle this and then I'm gonna get off for the day. Maybe hop on tonight, I'm not sure, but I have to go to work. A lot of things to do before the holidays and uh, feeling good about it though. We're on to a good start, nice base. Oh my gosh, that just gave us 10,000 wood and 4,000 stone from those like 1,100 arrows. Awesome, a lot of good resources. We'll take a little break, and then when I hop back on tonight or tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to go do some more cool things. I might even see if anybody wants to do a, a larger raid with me, um, just so we can see it. I'll probably play a few more days on here, because I do kind of want to get the full experience, but I don't have a lot of time with the holidays right now. So, I might end up playing another wipe later on, but this is a fun time. I'd love to play this with a full squad, get like a three, four man to just see what we could do in a few days when i hopped back on the server i saw that there was a medium raid base pretty far across the map i decided to make the run over there and it ended up being chaotic i used way too many explosives that i shouldn't have died a few times and then couldn't get a spawn back on that side of the map so i ended up giving up on it and cargo happened to be out during that same time so we went to cargo dude what is happening why is it steering me so weird scientist loot oh seven more rockets see that's already more worth it than that raid was I'm definitely gonna have to go through all this loot there's gonna be some weird loot on here I also need to get these uh, these crates started right now I don't know how long cargo has been out Oh, come on, baby. Come on. It's 10 minutes. Okay, yeah. Wow. Okay. A lot more rockets. Yeah, cargo is more worth it than uh, than anything else we've done on this server so far. <laughs> Fuck, man. Hell yeah. I'm not going to keep these. Oh, there's so much loot here. Okay, crate one's open. Crate two just opened. Oh, that's kind of weird. Honestly, the some of the elites were better than that. Let's go grab crate two. Oh, nice. Some more rockets. And let's go check our last crate. I think we got all of the elites and all of the... Oh, just kidding. There's a milk crate right here. Oh, hell yeah, we're getting a lot of good loot. Eh. Not a, not bad. I'm gonna drop, uh... Drop that for this. And, uh... Drop that for this. Cool. That was a... Quick and successful cargo. Let's, uh... Clear any more scientists. See if there's any more milk crates up top. And, uh... And we'll head out.
cool. Let's head back home. Well, that was a very successful run. I need to reorganize all of our stuff here, but we came back with a decent amount of guns, ammo, including now we have 21 rockets, 12 high velocity, a C4. We have 17 HE grenades with a launcher, um, and we have an aiming module. So we're doing pretty good. I That was way better than doing that hard raid, to be honest. Um, and that hard raid is, yeah, it's gone. So we do have one airdrop. Um, let's see what we get here. Ooh, a little bit of meds. That's not too bad of an airdrop. I don't need this wood armor, though. Um, but I'm going to reorganize all of our stuff, get our lockers completely kitted out now that we have so many guns and different kits. And uh, we'll hop back on sometime later, try to get another little bit of a roam in and go from there. Not a bad day. The hard raid wasn't what we wanted, but cargo made up for it. So I'm going to take a break and we'll keep on going. Merry Christmas, everybody. This video is going to come out after Christmas, obviously, but I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I just hopped on. I'm going to finish this wipeout, and uh, there's not really anybody on the server right now, but Cargo did just spawn, so I think I want to head to Cargo, see what else we can get, and then we'll finish out with something fun. I'm not sure what yet, if it's going to be a raid, or if we're going to do... I don't really know yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a boat. I don't remember if... Oops. If I spawn boat, oh cool. If you buy a vehicle, you get it forever. I wasn't sure if that's how it worked or not. So let me grab some low grade and uh, we'll go try and meet cargo up north. Um, that would have been bad, I have no ammo. I don't know why I have no ammo. Uh, all right, we're just about there. I think there's, oh no, there is three crates on it. They're just stacked. Like, all three on top of each other. I was hoping that there was only two. Because I don't know when this is going to despawn. But hopefully we can just get through this quick. Like I said, we don't have many meds. We're just going to be living off bandages and fish. Give this bad boy a new shot. Oh, God. Who's shooting me? Who's doing it? So we're just getting pounded right now. Elite crate. Another elite crate. We got, man, there's a lot of elite crates on this today. Mill crates. Ooh. Little to say, I kept this one quick for you since we ran cargo back to back on two different days. The loot was pretty good. We ended up gaining some more rockets, we gained some more airdrops, ammo, explosives, armor, I mean pretty much everything we could. Look at this loot haul here, you can see we're pretty stacked. So I went back to base and I wanted to try to take heli. We actually took heli uh, the day before this in the wipe before I did that medium raid base, but I guess I lost the footage or something, I don't know where it's at. So. This will be our second attempt taking heli, but we have very little meds, which is going to make it a lot harder. Let's call our heli, 500 zeds. Okay, we paid 500. It's 6 a.m., so it's about to be daytime. Let's head into heli tower and get set up. We're going to have to deal with a lot right now with very little meds, so I might even ask in chat if anybody happens to have some extra meds. While that comes back, let me heal up here. Oof. Oof, that hit us somehow through the window. Oh, we're getting close. Okay, let's see if we can take it. Nice. 
Did it just land on the roof? That's crazy if it just landed on the roof. Well, let me go check. I'm pretty sure it, it landed up here. It partially landed up here. The rest is down there. Okay. Well. We'll see what we can do here. Okay, this being in this position actually, uh, Helps me out a ton. Oh god, I can't. My scope sensitivity is like way too low for this angle. Okay, that should be all of them. Without having a horde this time, fingers crossed, no horde comes by, that's a little bit easier. And honestly, I don't know why, but them being right below me was just a lot easier than when they're out of the field and could shoot me from a distance. So let's see if there are any more of them. I think that's it. Okay, let's loot up. Ooh, finally, we got an L96. I wanted a Bull T or an L96 really bad. Another AK. More rockets and satchels. Hell yeah. Cool. Let's head back home. We got some more explosives. We'll gear up now. See what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna grab our last bit of meds. And uh, let's give this a shot. There is a hard raid base not too far from here. I don't see anywhere that I can launch MLRS from, sadly, because we have a lot. That would do do a lot of damage. Um, but I don't actually see an abandoned military base on this map. I could be wrong. It might be a part of Candyland or one of these renamed monuments, one of the custom monuments. But for now, we'll head out with what we got. We do have 23 rockets, 23 high velocity, 13 satchels, 15 mollies, 4 C4, and 35 HE grenades. So between all of that, I think we'll be able to do a decent amount of damage. I just want to see what we can do on a hard raid base since we never did finish that medium raid base. I just, dude, I get so sick of the shotgun traps and all the random shit on those. So we'll see what we can do. And then... uh That'll probably be it for this wipe. I might check out like Satan's Workshop or Candyland, one of the custom monuments, because there is a lot of NPCs there. Uh, and now that we have a M96 and we have plenty of ammo and armor and everything, I think we can take on some NPCs. I don't think we can solo the, the boss at uh, Satan's Workshop, but uh, it is Satan, right? It's not Santa. Yeah. So let's see if we have any, any turrets at this hard raid base. I do have high velocity rockets now, so we should be able to uh, take out these turrets if we do have them. Fuck, man. <laughs> Did I kill it? Okay, I destroyed it, but it got me. Come on. Oh, we did it. Is this a sheet door or an armor door? This is just a sheet door, right? Okay.
Oh, these are all... Oh, it already hurt that? That's an armored door that took it down to a thousand. Can I splash that? Ah, I mean, we can, yes. Oh, okay. The first crate loot, not that bad. I don't need half this shit though, but. Oops, we shot one too many. Oh, fuck. I was not expecting that turret. Well, I think we're gonna die on this one, but we can get back to our stuff. We're making progress quick. This base is not that big, even though it does have three floors. Four floors, I guess, with the roof. And these HEs are helping us out a lot. So we'll respawn and see if we can get back into here. I was able to buy 10 medical syringes off the shop. It cost me a thousand Z, but it's worth it right now. I got 8,500 Z, so I'm probably going to keep buying some more um, syringes while we do this raid because. If I'm getting off, Zeds don't transfer, I don't believe, so no reason to keep it for the next wipe. I think we're safe now. Oh, that's cool. These are smelting? That's weird. I've never seen a raid base that has active furnaces. Okay. I mean, we'll take it. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I did not even see this pile of loot. That's huge. Pumpkins are going to help us with a ton of health. But the 10C4, 18 molly, 46 bean can, that's wild, man. Let me throw everything I don't need. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Um, I'll grab most of this stuff for right now, actually. I don't need that. Let me 1C4, 1 rocket this door. Let's see if we can splash both these. Oh, that did that did work. There is a lot of random shotgun traps in here though. Can I see can I shoot this perfect? But from right here I can. That's another armored door. Does that just lead to this though? Yeah, I think it does. Okay. Oh yeah, that just leads up to that. So there's no reason to waste any on that then. I probably have a ladder somewhere. Just to make it easier on myself, I'm just gonna rocket this door. There's no way it survives that. And then, uh, let's... Okay, one more shotgun trap broken. Our loot is... It's alright. Um, those are smoke grenades. Not too bad a loot. Nice. We'll take that, that. Let's raid this. And then I want to grab that tier 3 if we can. I don't know how quickly this is going to disappear though. TC should be in this. And might have some good loot as well. Last one here. Yeah, there's some more shotgun traps and shit. I'm just going to fucking... We got a lot of metal frags out of this. Dude, I have... Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some good shit in here. 
I grabbed the remaining loot from the base and that was going to be it for the hard raid. I recycled what we could from it to get some more resources so that we could upgrade our base a little bit. And uh, overall, it was a pretty easy raid. Uh, the hard raid base was probably easier than the medium raid base, but I'm happy with where we are at at the moment. So we made a few base upgrades before I got off. We still have three days of upkeep. So if you want to play on this server, the base code is 2024. I hope that you guys enjoyed this wipe. You can take over my base if you would like. I'm going to leave everything in here. I added in some stuff up here. So we have power. We have all of our extra stuff. All of the codes are 2024. I just had to do pass through on all of it, but it does add some light. Um, these are storage rooms if you want them. Then down here, we got ladder hatches. We got extra storage and stuff. This was all the extra raid gear that we had. Uh, and we have some light, so once it's dark, it's gonna be a little bit nicer in here now. I might continue to play not recording a little bit on stream or something, so if you want to play, feel free to hop on. You can take over the base, you can take my stuff, I don't really care. But if you want to play in a future wipe, let me know. You can join my Discord down below. Uh, I'd love to play with you guys for a wipe, so make sure to join there and leave me a message. Take care. If you did like this, hit that like and subscribe. You can hit the notification bell if you'd like. I'm going to be trying to upload as frequently as I can going into 2024. And uh, thank you for all your support. Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you guys later.